Look, a spotted lantern fly. <laughs> Let's get it. Why, it's just an ordinary bug. Just an ordinary bug? Spotted lantern flies are not just ordinary bugs. We have to learn all about spotted lantern flies so you know what they are and what spotted lantern flies can actually do. The spotted lantern fly is typically from parts of southern China, Taiwan, and Vietnam, but has spread into Japan, South Korea, and now the United States. Even though it's caught a lantern fly and has two pairs of wings, it jumps more than it flies. The spotted lantern fly loves to eat things like grapes, apples, and peaches, but its real favorite is the tree of heaven tree. It's believed that spotted lantern flies were introduced here by accident from a shipment of stone and they've been located in states as far up as Connecticut all the way down to Northern Virginia. In September 2014, the spotted lantern fly was first discovered in the United States in Berks County, Pennsylvania, northwest of Philadelphia. The spotted lantern fly is an invasive insect, which means they invade and can ruin things. They have spotted wings, and they are very unique with their pattern. Spotted lanternflies harm plants by feasting on the sap, which weakens the plant and can cause mold, as well as other insects, to harm the plants even more. The spotted lanternfly is about one inch long and about half an inch wide. They have wings that are gray with black spots, but when they fly, those front wings then reveal their red and black rear wings. The lanternfly has a dark black head, dark legs, and a yellow abdomen or belly that has black bands running across it. The spotted lanternfly eats plants by sucking out the sap from leaves, the stems, or plants, or tree trunk. Spotted lanternflies eat so much sap that they can't keep it all inside and actually release most of it back out their body. And this is known as excretion. This excretion is called honeydew. And this honeydew is what can grow mold and attract other insects, like we mentioned a few moments ago. Hey, guess what? Did you know that nymphs, which are the babies, as well as the adult spotted lanternflies, can cause lots of damage to plants? And because they cause so much damage to local trees and plants, spotted lanternflies can also hurt local industries like lumber, fruit orchards, and vineyards. Lanternflies use their bright colors and spots on their wings to warn off potential predators. Yeah. It has been discovered that some spider species are eating spotted lanternflies, but it's not making too much of a difference in how many lanternflies are invading certain areas of the United States. Do you remember that earlier in the video, we said that adult spotted lanternflies had wings and are capable of flight? But guess what? They don't really fly all that well at all. Spotted lanternflies are actually a part of the insect group known as plant hoppers. Plant hoppers jump from plant to plant instead of actually fly. Maybe that's why they're called plant hoppers. Hmm. Spotted lanternfly eggs hatch around May or late spring. These newly hatched nymphs or babies go through four different stages known as instars. And these baby or nymph 
spotted lanternflies become adults a few months later in July. Spotted lanternfly nymphs do not have wings and look a bit like a stink bug. In the first three stages or instars, the nymphs are black with white spots and then change to red with black spots during their fourth and final instar stage. And once they are adults, they mate and start to lay eggs in late summer all the way through November. Spotted lanternfly eggs are tan and kind of look like seeds. They are covered in a dirty, muddy looking clump on trees, outdoor furniture, stones, and other objects outside that don't move. The eggs actually stay there through the winter and hatch the next year in May, but the adults will not survive and live through the winter. When landernflies are in the nymph stage, they will go up and down the plants they eat every day, which actually allows you to catch them with a sticky glue or tape around the actual plant. And this is a good way to get rid of the nymph spotted lanternflies, but unfortunately, using the same method does not usually work for adult spotted lanternflies. The states that these lanternflies are invading have been asking the people that live there to remove and kill any lanternflies that you may see, including their eggs, so they cannot spread even more. Even though spotted lanternflies are not known to bite, sting, or attack people, pets, or farm animals, they are still a big threat to the area they live in. This is because of the damage spotted lanternflies will do to farming, fruits, and forestry goods. You see, lanternflies are a huge problem to many businesses of the states that these spotted lanternflies are in, as well as the people that live there. So what should you do if you think you see a spotted lanternfly? During the fall and winter, if you find eggs, you should scrape and remove the egg masses. During the springtime, you should surround trees that have been eaten by lanternflies with sticky tape. And again, this is to trap the nymphs that are crawling up the trees and plants that they're eating. And if you see an adult lanternfly, you should kill it by squashing it with your foot. And that may sound mean, but it's to make sure that they don't take over all the plants and trees in your area and kill and destroy them. So you might be asking yourself, why are these spotted lanternflies spreading so quickly? Remember, spotted lanternflies will lay their eggs on almost any surface. We mentioned some of these before, but some other surfaces people have found spotted lanternfly eggs are in vehicles like rail cars on a train, tractor trailers, as well as outdoor appliances and even patio furniture. And some of these things like trailers and train cars go from place to place even state to state, and once the eggs hatch, spotted lanternflies will lay more eggs in those places as well. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about spotted lanternflies. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to click that like button. It really helps out our channel. Make sure to subscribe.